the powdery mildew. Normally, my peas get powdery mildew in April. But, they literally in the past two weeks just started producing. So, we didn't get our March harvest or an April harvest, but they grew a lot taller than normal. And at the same time, I'm getting a lot more. This is my second harvest. This bucket is almost full. And I could probably fill this bucket up again two or three more times off of what's here and what's ready. Plus another two or three times off of what's still growing. Normally, Mother's Day, I would take this down the next day. Like today is the day after Mother's Day. So I would normally be harvesting this whole patch and cutting it down. And I don't compost my peas because powdery mildew. But I also shake off my peas because I don't want to throw away my ladybugs. And there are probably 20 or 30 in here. And then in the clover for the bunny rabbit, there's another probably 10 that I've seen off the top. So I'm gonna give these probably another week. And instead of today, which is the day after Mother's Day, cutting them down, It'll be next week on Monday, which I think is the 19th or the 20th. And I'll be cutting them down, including the Sweet Magnolia piece. Now, one of the reasons I grew the Sweet Magnolia piece is because they are supposed to be powdery mildew resistant. They are not. They are supposed to be tastier they taste the same. Um, they're pretty. And the pods, if you eat them young like this, they stay purple when you cook them. The peas inside are just as green. Um, there are fewer aphids on this than that. And I think this would last longer, but some of them are green on the same plant and you see that right here that purple in the middle it's really pretty these are edible you can feed these to your animals if they don't have powder and mildew uh, i think it's going to get a lot taller the sweet magnolia will get a lot taller i'm not gonna let it because again it has powdery mildew as well but it was an experiment. Don't be afraid to experiment in your garden. Don't be afraid to grow something. Don't be afraid to learn how to do it. Bye dreamers. Have a blessed day. Please like, subscribe, leave a thumbs up. All right, this is what it looks like after picking. I have a bucket full and I also have a pocket full. Okay, it's a bucket filled up, but I didn't want to go get another one. But I think what I'm going to do, not now, not today, with the sweet magnolia. Oh, I missed one. I'm going to pull powdery mildew leaves off. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, friends, that's it. See you next time. Bye. These are the peas that I harvested today. These are going to be used like um, in stir fries. They have been, I can't remember what the word is, but they're boiled for three minutes. And then these were the ones that were too big, 
to use in stir fries. And I'm gonna try to fill this bag up and get a gallon size bag of these. I'm gonna try. You guys have a blessed day. See you next time.